Want to know how to become the most confident, radiant version of yourself to fully embrace your power at any age? Then my friends, you've come to the right place because today we're going to delve into some truly transformative personal development books. As a personal development expert, I'm constantly asked what are the best self-help books and I've talked about some of those in past videos. But what many people often don't know about are the recent personal growth books and new releases. So today I'm going to share some newer ones, almost all published in the past couple of years by a variety of authors who speak to women's courage and confidence. These eight books I'm about to show you are compelling conversations about how to discover our inner strength, truly embrace who we are, and step boldly into our power. So if you want a boost of self-confidence to feel like you can have, be, or achieve anything, you're going to love these books. Here's to our journey of self-discovery, to growing more confident, and to living our lives with a sense of boldness and authenticity. Okay, first we're going to talk about the greatness mindset. Unlock the power of your mind and live your best life today by Lewis Howes. I absolutely loved this book. Lewis is a two-time New York Times best-selling author and host of the podcast and YouTube series called The School of Greatness. He writes like he speaks, as a mentor and a friend, direct but encouraging. This book is about unlocking your potential and embracing the greatness within. I know that might sound a little corny and sort of cliche nowadays, unlocking your potential and embracing your greatness within. But this book does that in a way that makes it fun and easy to read. The pages are consumable, and I love these little reminders that are practically on every page. And he combines personal stories with practical advice, making it feel really relatable and achievable. It's particularly inspiring for those moments when we feel stuck or unsure of our path. Lewis reminds us that greatness isn't reserved for the chosen few. It's something we can all reach. My next book is Professional Troublemaker, The Fear Fighter Manual by Lovey Ajayi Jones, also a two-time New York Times bestselling author. Maybe you've heard her podcast or seen her wildly successful TED Talk. I'll put links to both in the description below so you can check them out. Professional Troublemaker is a bold and vivacious read. Lovey's writing style is like her personality, fearless, funny, and forthright. She challenges us in this book to be troublemakers, but the good kind, the kind who speak up, stand up, and shake up the status quo. It's about overcoming the fear that holds us back from living our most authentic lives. This book is a rallying cry for anyone who's ever hesitated to take a stand for something they really believe in. Okay, let's dive into radical confidence. 10 no BS lessons in becoming the hero of your own life by Lisa Bilyeu. Now, if you've ever seen Lisa or heard her speak on her digital series, Women of Impact, you'll know she kind of looks and sounds like a tough girl from London who gets straight to the point but has a heart of gold. And she writes like she speaks with an invigorating blend of candor and warmth. I love it, frankly. She shares her journey from a housewife to a successful entrepreneur, challenging us to confront our fears and self-doubts. And boy, does she challenge. I mean, she's got chapters like this. So if swear words offend you, this book might not be for you. I happen to find it refreshing. She's just being her genuine self. But inside, she's a total softie. I love her direct, no-nonsense approach, and I also love that she breaks down the barriers to confidence in bite-sized, actionable lessons. Her book is sort of a toolkit for building the kind of confidence that comes from within, not reliant on external validation. So for any woman who's felt held back by fear or doubt, this book is a loud call to action. Next we have Stop Overthinking, 23 Techniques to Relieve Stress, Stop Negative Spirals, Declutter Your Mind, and Focus on the Present by Nick Trenton. This book is a godsend for anyone who's ever felt trapped by their own thoughts. Nick's approach is understanding and gentle. He provides a variety of strategies to help quiet the mind and focus on the present. Each technique is a step toward reclaiming your mental space from the endless loop of overthinking that many of us tend to do. It's like having a wise friend guide you through the maze of your own mind, helping you find clarity and peace. Then we've got Believe It by Jamie Kern Lima. 
How to Go from Underestimated to Unstoppable. This book is a fascinating, empowering story of resilience. Jamie writes from a place of vulnerability, sharing her struggles and triumphs as she started with nothing, built a huge cosmetics empire from the ground up and eventually sold it for more than a billion dollars. You really get an inside peek at her journey because she's very honest and open about sharing personal stories of rejection, heartbreak, and resilience. But her message is clear. Believing in yourself is the first step to overcoming any obstacle. This book is a celebration, really, of the underdog in all of us, encouraging us to embrace our unique beauty and strength. Next is Brave Not Perfect, How Celebrating Imperfection Helps You Live Your Best, Most Joyful Life by Reshma Saujani. Reshma is a New York Times best-selling author and founder and CEO of Girls Who Code. She writes with a sense of urgency and passion, which I really like. She tackles the perfectionism that so many of us struggle with, especially women. Anyone know what I'm talking about? This book is a call to bravery, to embrace our imperfections and live boldly. It's about learning to fear less, fail more, and pursue our dreams with unabashed courage. Okay, this next book, The High Five Habit by Mel Robbins, I have on Audible. Now, I know Mel personally, so maybe I'm a bit biased, but I love how she writes. She's both engaging and practical. Matter of fact, you might want to listen to the audiobook too, because she narrates it as if she's sitting right next to you, giving you a little tough love that you might need to hear, but at the same time, plenty of encouragement and motivation. In this book, she introduces a very simple habit that can radically change how we see ourselves. It's about the transformative power of high-fiving yourself in the mirror, a gesture of self-acceptance and inspiration. She turns a simple act into a profound practice for boosting self-esteem and positive self-image. And last but not least, we have Speak. Find your voice, trust your gut, and get from where you are to where you want to be by Tundi Oyanayan. In this powerful book, Tundi shares her extraordinary journey. It's a story of transformation from following the path that was laid out to her to forging her own. Her writing is intimate and inspiring, filled with lessons about the courage it takes to listen to your own inner voice. I think that the beauty of uncertainty is infinite possibility. And she teaches us the importance of trusting our gut, our intuition, making this book a beacon for anyone seeking to find and use their own voice. It's a personal empowerment guide that encourages us to take chances, step into our truth, and move forward on the path that you choose. My friends, these books are conversations about finding our inner strength, embracing who we are, and stepping into our power. Here's to our journey of self-discovery, to becoming more confident, and to living our lives with boldness and authenticity. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up so the algorithm will show it to more people who are looking for books like this. It's your little way of helping them and supporting me. Oh, and one more thing, I'd love your input. What topics would you like to see in future videos? If you're new here, I'm Rena Hedeman, a professional certified coach, and this is Thrive After Five, a community where we talk about everything we face as women in midlife and beyond. Body changes, menopause, new chapters, new priorities, relationships, skincare, personal development, and so much more. So tell me, what topic would you like to see talked about here? Let me know in the comments, or if you'd prefer to suggest something privately, you can always email me personally at hello at Thrive After 45. I read them all. Let me know what you'd like us to talk about. There's a great chance we'll use your suggestion. Hey, thank you for joining me today. I really loved having you here. 